Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. Here's your daily technical analysis of Brent Crude Oil and Spot Gold. I'll start with Ice Brent Crude Oil Futures. Okay, on the surface, yesterday was an indecisive spinning top. However, it was also an immediate countering bullish army after the last two sessions made a two-day bearish meeting lines pattern. Now, bearish meeting line patterns are interesting. They are seen traditionally as bearish, but the data indicates that just over half the time, they tend to have a bullish follow-on. Thus, I'm wondering if yesterday was the first tentative steps in the market following the data rather than the tradition. Yes, they also saw a significant move up and close over the important heavy-duty congestion between 115.70 and 120 even, closing over the May 2012 high at 120 even for the first time since changeover. Overall, the market continues to move away from two descending triangle patterns below formed since March. Potential targets on the upside for these descending triangles as well as the double stroke triple bottoms formed over the same period are as follows. For the larger March to April descending triangle, I have a potential primary target X1 in the 132.10 area, for harder to get secondary target X2 in the 147.30 area. For the smaller March to April descending triangle, I have or had a primary target X3 in the 120.5 area, with a harder to get secondary target X4 in the 129.20 area. For the double stroke triple bottom pattern, I have a potential target X5 in the 126 and a half area. Okay, I hope you've got all of those. As so far, we've achieved the primary target X3 in the 120 and a half area for the smaller March to April descending triangle. So far today, well, a small move higher, challenging yesterday's highs, but still not approaching the next, to be honest, weak resistance of the lesser, very recent 61.8% Fibonacci line at 122.99. The next significant resistance is the April 2012 high at 125.96. Spot Gold. An immediate countering bullish engulfing pattern yesterday after the previous session's bearish closing Black Marabozo. It was an immediate reaction to the market's close in the previous session below the long moving average, currently 1842. It seems my comments yesterday of the market escaping the confines of being above the long moving average and below the overhead 50% Fibonacci line of the March 21 to March 22 move at 1873. Well, they're a little premature as we are back within those confines once again. I have previously recently described the actions here as very much like watching someone treading water. It's a lot going on, but really not going anywhere. Well, we're seemingly still treading water. I still have nearby the broken upper time, currently 1785 of the early March to late April bearish Andrews pitchfork. I really would like to tidy up this daily chart and retire this pitchfork. But as long as we maintain these unmoving actions, then I feel obliged to keep it here, on here. So far today, well, a slightly lower open and a very small dip towards the long moving average, but cautiously. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives you essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyrights Eddie Topic and ADM Investors Services International Limited. Here comes the final bit.